Okay, about an hour before closing, a very nice lady, um, she called earlier, she said that she was going to come by. She brought in uh, seven Borsalinos, uh, six Panamas, and one uh, felt, and they were all pretty much um, like accordions, you know, completely flattened the wrong way, you know. They were flat. Uh, some of them were crushed downwards, you know, by like uh, TSA things like that suitcases on other ones other ones were just flattened like completely accordioned i call them flattened like as if you put the hat between two books for you know 20 years or something so i knew i could do three of them three of them what could i do all of them i wasn't sure but uh i decided to knock them out you could see me leaving a lot i tried to cut out the parts where i left the scene like right there when i leave that means i'm stiffening the hats uh with hairspray i stiffened them probably a good 15 to 20 times maybe more Uh, i just stiffened and stiffened i kept going more and more and they were just soaking up stiffener and not really hardening enough um so yeah that's how you fix a, a, an accordion Panama. You basically have to just spray it with a lot of super hold hairspray, like a lot, you know, get it soaked. You might have to do two, three coats even. And let it dry, and then you steam the whole crown, and then you just put it over some sort of like a, can, like a bottle or a, a, a pot or something. I have this uh, silver hat stretcher, this uh, big chrome not the chrome, it's like a stainless steel hat stretcher. Anything that's shaped like that, like a cylinder, you just want to stretch the hat to an open crown, let it dry as an open crown, and then from there you can start creasing it. But you need a ton of stiffener, and I just kept going back and forth and back and forth, you know, like I must have done 20, 25 shots of of hairspray. I used up a whole can on seven hats. Um, Three of them were very hard to do they were completely accordion then they were very very soft like soft and flexible and stretchy so i had to just soak them and get them really stiff with spray you know literally soaked them where where they were like just dripping and then i put them in front of the fan and just held them in front of the fan for a few minutes and they they stiffened up Uh, it's an extreme way to do this uh, but it's the only way to do it you could see that black felt one there that one also was super super soft but we worked it out and um yeah uh, that's a paper straw it's a borsalino but it's it's toyo it's paper yeah so shame on you borsalino but uh the paper straw doesn't respond as well when you have really bad bad dents in shantong or toyo it's really hard to get out you have to stretch it like really tight with a ton of spray Uh, 
Let's try this baby, see how it comes out. A bit more time consuming, but. I'm just, uh, I'm so happy to get this done. I'm sure I have a few more yeah. up in my hat boxes, but I, that's, this is what I can have. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Some of them seem to come back better than others, you know. Well, the straw for sure, because, you know, yeah, yeah. that paper only I get, it's pretty, it's wrinkles, but it still looks good on the wrinkles. Yeah, some people pay extra for the wrinkles. They buy them, pre, like, pre-distressed and like stuff. Movies. Yeah. Like ripped jeans and stuff. They're yeah. doing that with hats and guitars and everything, you know. They have them, like, burnt and yeah, ripped no, and sewn way, up. Yeah, and it's so funny. I work for a company called uh, Max Steel Blue. Hmm. Tommy Purse. His son actually has the stores, something Purse around here. 
but he was just an amazing it with your skull things. He's, he was like a pioneer and he was a would-be musician. Okay. Didn't make it in the music industry. Right. So he opened up a clothing store for musicians, you know, with all the skull stuff and yeah, all the yeah, cool, cool and stuff. And then he yeah. made tons of money and he moved the location to Melrose Avenue. Really? And his clients raised are all prices, yeah, raised yeah, the prices, yeah. got in it, but he has he has incredible taste, a lot of like oh. hats and jeans and I mean he does everything now, it's like way over, but wow. really incredible shop. You remind me of It'll take a good crease. Let's try it. And this little one, I don't know what it can be. Yeah, this one I didn't even try yet. Let me see. I put the stiffener in it, but I didn't I'm just uh, wondering shape it why yet. I bought 55. I mean, does you it like make... a 56 or? Yeah, so yeah. I don't know why I can buy 55. You lose weight in your head if you're thin. Well, some of them just run bigger. Uh, the felt hats run tight. Right. So you could be 56 in their felts, 55 in their straws. That's yeah, but they're awesome. tight on my head now, though. Oh. Go for an old school. They might have dehydrated yeah. and they were good when you bought them and they dried out. See. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's probably the most likely. Scenario. But I was thinner there, so I don't think that means. Yeah, I don't think you would have bought them tight. Most likely, they just like from not wearing them, they sort of dry out. Yeah. You know, from the climate and stuff. See, like this one is oddly enough big. Right. But you're right. Each one is bigger. Yeah. Also, um, some of them are more flexible. They have like this kind of stretch action to them. Yeah. And those fit bigger. Mm-hmm. And like, mm -hmm. and, like, like um, well, the orange doesn't stretch at all. If you notice, it's right. different. Put it in the back behind your head. Oh, he put a few in the front. I know. I moved it. Why is that? Just because it keeps it. Um, you'll feel it less. Yeah. And it pushes the head forward in a prettier. Yeah. Sometimes it makes it bunch up a little bit. Where you don't want to see yeah, that. Yeah. You don't want to see it. I even have a staple in here, which means I stapled one in that was coming out. Huh, really? Well, you know, I went to a place where shirt. I just never took off a hat. Yeah. You just lived in the hat, right? Yeah. I was always wearing a hat. This one is so floppy. I'm gonna stiffen it one more time. This one I just have to crease it in here a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It wasn't going to crease. Yeah, it won't hold, so that's strange, right? Well, I keep stiffening it and it's it's stiffening it's but it's stubborn, exactly. It's almost like it's porous and it's soaking up the stiffening. But I kinda of do those two when it gets back to your but you know like if you go to the beach, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not like Yeah, that one I just stiffened again, I'll try to put yeah, a little more. Yeah, this one is that because it's a smaller a small room, right? Yeah, it doesn't really Also, when you get home and when you wake up tomorrow, the, the spray that I put on there will probably be stiffer. This one is not really behaving. Yeah, no, I know. It might need a little more work. 